Okay, I hooked up an HD converter box and ran a cable back to the set on channel 3. And now I have uh, still no picture and no sound either. But there are a couple more controls in the back of this set. One of them in particular is called horizontal lock, which is a coil. So I'm going to reach back there and I've got a special alignment tool here that I can adjust it with. See if that helps any. Some of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The flyback that generates the high voltage runs off this horizontal frequency, so when you mess with that, you can have some odd effects in the high voltage. It looks good if horizontal, but now I gotta work on the vertical. Almost. Come on. Alright, right? Okay, looks like we're watching uh, Frasier. <laughs> see if I can get a better picture on that. With uh... I remember this is just a test tube, which uh, doesn't quite work the same as a real tube in terms of the focus and contrast and brightness and so on. But yeah, it's definitely definitely a stable picture now. Damn, no sound. I had a similar problem with the other set where I couldn't get audio, good audio and video at the same time. So I'm going to go back to channel 6 and see what happens with that. Like I said in my earlier video, these converter boxes, the signals they put out, sometimes uh, vintage TVs just really don't like them. So let's go back to an over -air, uh, uh, let's go back to uh, my antenna and an over-the-air station. Okay, back with the regular over-the-air antenna. I do now have audio and video. So like I said, those converter boxes, uh, these old sets just don't like them a lot of the time. Uh, one last test I want to do tonight, which is to put in a full size tube. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you that there are, when I record my next video, I'll show you how there are actually some other ways to get signals into sets be other than using a converter box. Um, but for now, I'll just go with this one channel 6. And let's see if this 12-inch tube uh, actually works. Okay, I've reinstalled the 12-inch picture tube. This probably seems small to you, but it seems huge to me because I'm used to working on 7 and 10-inch sets. This will actually be my first operational 12-inch vintage set. I got lucky on this chassis because the rubber supports underneath are in really good shape. Other sets I have, they're kind of rotted away or dried out. I'll have to experiment with some type of maybe some plumbing grommets or something to support this. Uh, Anywho, the next step is to reinstall the ion trap magnets. The electron gun in these black and white picture tubes, it's cut at an angle because the electron gun emits both ions and electrons and if the ions hit the uh, phosphor face they can uh, or they will burn it out and turn it brown over time. So what they do is they shoot uh, both the electrons and ions out at an angle and you install these magnets to deflect the electrons back towards the, fl the face of the CRT and the ions will continue to travel outside the, uh, the neck. If you, uh, just so you know, if you have to replace one of these dual pole uh, ion trap magnets, the blue goes, goes towards the front of the uh, CRT. So put it on, just slide it on the back. There are a couple uh, thumb screws here to tighten it down, but you don't do that until you position it right. You got to find the sweet spot. You rotate it and slide it back and forth. Uh, but to do that, you got to have it turned on. So put the uh, end cap or socket back on, rather. And make sure everything's secured properly. And turn this guy on. the lights off too. And I'll set the camera down because I know that I'm going to need my hands free. Right, a little bit of a glow. There we go. That's better. Let's put it down. 
there. Let's see. Oops, if I tune in the channel. There we go. There we go. Honeymooners again. Perfect. Yeah, still a sound, but we'll look at the picture perfect first. Alright, looks right about there, so we'll tighten this down. Brightness and contrast. Finally, controls in the back for the heat and the linearity. Really, you really need a pass, test pattern when you're doing this part of it because uh, you're just kind of guessing. Not the greatest picture, but hey, you know, this is my. First time powering up this set, so should only get better from here. Alright, well, I think that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed these videos and uh, look forward to more when I've got this working better. Hey, good news. One last thing I, I tried before calling it a, uh, a night was I swapped out all the tubes from my good set. And hey, the picture got dramatically better. Still no sound, but uh, the picture is about as good as I, you're ever going to get on a set of this vintage. So. All right, great night to uh, great note to end the night on, I think. So that's all from now. I'll record some more when uh, when I get the audio working.